quite challenging. And I've actually been having a lot of fun in theme recently. Especially finding... Oh, some of these mods. Oh. Okay. Ugh, okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on BeamNG in a 350Z on a mountain road. We're going to try and not die. Make sure you guys follow me on all search me all on the script box below. Let's do it. So when I say not die, ooh, I really mean not die. I mean, as we're already starting off great by stalling the car. Apparently, I did not push the clutch in enough. And I stalled it again. My clutch was in. Not starting off the greatest. So we're going to go full send. And see if we can uh, drift this Z without dying. Oh, it's not, gonna, it's not looking very good. From the start. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a... Uh, Greatest. Oh man, don't die. One thing about Beam is I noticed with these mods, we need to use handbrake a lot to get them to really do what I want them to do. And that's probably just the mod itself. Ooh! We scratched it. We just scratched it. We're good. Just a small little scratch. Are still good? Oh, little wall tap. Bigger wall tap. Oh, don't die. This is quite challenging. And I'm actually I've been having a lot of fun in beam recently. Especially finding oh some of these mods. Oh okay. Ugh, okay. Induction system damage and oil starved. Um, but we're still still going. Definitely have some wheel issues. Oh yeah, we definitely hurt some steering components. It doesn't want to turn! Oh. Yep, this car does not want to turn at all. Oh. Okay, yeah, that car's really broke. Yep, that's definitely broke. So we're going to give ourselves a new car and try and continue. Oh, that was nice. That was not nice. Nope. That was not nice. But did we do damage? I don't know how much damage we actually did, but we're gonna full send. We're going. Um. If I if this was a real life, this car would be dead twice. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> None of my headlights work. <laughs> if you guys like BeamNG, and you guys like this type of content, let me know down in the comment section down below. Totally getting it. Nope, as I say that, I should probably not talk. Definitely gets bound up a little bit at lock and again that could just be a wheel setting that I need to alter we are on the R12 and this is I think my really my first time with the R12 here in beam we decided to just go full send straight to a uh, drift car at a mountain road oh my god see that that uh why does it always stall when I try and go I'm in gear what is on clutch See, I got off clutch and I was in gear. Start it again, okay. 
Ooh. You know, Beam will definitely humble you when it comes to drifting. If you play other games like Car X or even Seto and some of the easy drift cars, if you come in here and Beam, it will definitely uh, make you relearn everything that you may think you already know. When it comes to drifting. Oh, wall tap ish. And I think the fun thing about it is we do do these dirty e brake grabs, very long e brake grabs, like Forza e brake grabs. But if you do it too long, you will flat spot and blow your tires in B, which I think is actually probably the funnest thing that I've been having with this stuff. And if you put too much power on the car, of course, you're going to overheat the engine, blow it up. Like we throw a stage two turbo in this thing. And we start redlining it, it's going to pop. Ow! <laughs> um, impact detected. <laughs> there was definitely a major impact detection. So BeamNG definitely super fun and been finding a lot more drift mods and stuff like that. So we'll be doing a lot of stuff with Beam here in the near future, as well as of course a set of Corsa. It's actually not bad. that clutch kick my uh wheel bound up a little bit i don't know if you saw that i kind of had to force the wheel some i don't i don't think we're gonna be able to get out oh yeah we did i kind of got bound up and i'm not sure if that's like i said just a mod we just gotta do like nasty clutch drops in order to not stall this car if it's just a mod that is doing that, or if it's, uh, like, a weird... Oh, did that cone just rip my bumper off? It did. That cone ripped my bumper off. Oh, okay. Well, so we're going to go back to the home. I'm going to try this again, but we're going to try this in... In car with the kind of real head motion that beam has. Oh, we're not starting off great. If they could get the head motion to work like a seto, that would make this so much nicer. This is extremely hard. Because it doesn't really work how I want it to. <laughs> oh, man. So I think that may do it here for this episode here on BeamNG. If you guys want to keep seeing more Beam content, let me know down below. The Z is definitely uh, super fun to drive. We have some more power options for it with and you know body kits and other car you know parts for this that we may do maybe a realistic style drift building on this car so make sure you guys follow me on all social media always follow the description box below as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys Ooh, on the track oh i mean that acts like a really big air brake <laughs>